Hello everybody and welcome back to the Creature Flesh Workshop. We are on part three of our Creature Mask build. And if you want to check out how we got here, check out part one and part two. And we are now in the wrinkle stage. My personal favourite. So we started adding some deep wrinkles on the front of the face and we just want to carry that on on the whole thing. So I think there's not too much else to talk about, so let's get on with it. got some good detailing on the face. We've got some nice wrinkles coming down on the cheeks here. We've got some on the other side and generally we've got a good coverage of our deep wrinkles, the first wrinkles that we're doing. What I want to do now though is come away from that and actually just concentrate on the top of the head here. So this needs to be a lot smoother and I want to smooth it out just to see what it's going to look like in contrast to all of these wrinkles on the face. And the way I'm gonna do that is actually by warming up the clay. Now remember, this is an oil-based clay. And the amazing thing about that is that I can heat it and it will go soft and pliable. You can even turn it into a liquid if you want to. And then we're gonna use one of our sponges to hopefully smooth it out. I'll try not to take too much off though because we don't want this to become too thin and then break when we end up making it into a silicone mask. So let's do it. This is where it starts getting really exciting because we are now starting to see where our piece is really going. It's really starting to look like the initial drawings, which I'm really happy with. But this is the point where you've got over that initial kind of stage of blocking out, not really knowing what it's going to look like. And now we're really starting to see where we're going with it. The wrinkles on the face are by no means finished. They're still very rough, but we've done the long hard work on there and we want to start to soften them up a little bit. They're a little bit too harsh for my liking, to be honest, but that's fine because the beauty of clay is you can add, take away as much as you like. But what I'd really love to do is to take you through kind of step by step what we're doing with this technique. Now we're going to temporarily come away from the face and we're going to work a little bit on the back of the neck. And the reason for that is there's a lot of cool lines that we can put in here. And this is a really nice a blank canvas to show you guys a little bit of the technique of what I'm using. So the idea is pretty simple. We take a play ribbon tool, 
like one of these. Now these clay ribbon tools are just a little piece of either flat or round or even twisted wire that is on the end of a stick or a piece of metal, kind of a pen or pencil shaped piece. And it's, uh, it's really, really useful. You can get them in varying sizes. Bigger ones that we used at the beginning for taking off larger clumps of clay and smoothing it out. Or you can use the smaller ones to then add wrinkles, lines, and that's what we're doing now. But they are a must, must have. And you can even make your own. I've made a few of my own here, just using a piece of copper tubing, a little bit of Sculpey, which is like a polymer clay that you can bake in the oven, and then some uh, guitar string. Because I found it actually really difficult to find some clay ribbon tools small enough to do some really fine lines and details, so I had to make my own. And uh, guitar string is really, really good to uh, make really, really tiny clay ribbon tools. So first thing we need to do is to figure out where our wrinkles are. So we're gonna do that just by getting our clay ribbon tool. And we're just gonna score some lines along there. Now remember, these lines don't want to be straight. So you want to make sure that when you're doing them, you kind of sort of wiggle and wobble your hand a little bit. Sounds weird, didn't it? And what I'm doing is I'm crossing these lines over. And these lines are going to be relatively deep. I might meet up with another one like that. So these are just my initial lines. And at the end, I try and kind of taper them off a little bit. I apply a little bit less pressure at the ends just so they blend in nicely just so we haven't got a big kind of trench starting straight away so this part of the piece this kind of neck piece here is a really nice place to see some nice deep wrinkles deep lines and remember we're going to make those skin islands in between and this is a another good place good place to start actually because they are larger areas of skin larger wrinkles and it's a good place to practice another great thing to do with these kind of things is to just get a board, slap on some monster clay or any clay that you like, and just do some skin textures. The last thing you want to do is ruin a piece that you've been working on because you haven't had enough practice. Okay, I think we're almost there with this bit. Okay, so we've got now a load of trenches. Now this, if you remember, is what we don't want. But this is our starting point. So we've got two options. We can take another ribbon tool, such as one of these round ones. And these round ones are really good for getting into these little trenches. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull away at that harsh edge. Because remember there is really no harsh edges, no straight lines in nature. So we're just pulling away the edge of each one of these trenches. You can see already, we've got something that looks a little bit more organic. And once you start to pull away at the opposite edges, rather than having a trench, you can now get what looks more 
like a wrinkle. And you can see, I mean, this is a fairly time consuming technique, but in the end, hopefully we're gonna have something that looks super cool, hyper-realistic. That's really what we're going for. And remember, if you make mistakes, don't worry. Start again. It's all practice. Now, we may have something like this, this little kind of smaller island in the middle here. Now, I'm still going to take up those edges a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the second technique. Now, with larger surface areas, just pulling away at the edge of the trench might be enough. But, with some places, you take a little piece of clay, a little bit too big. Now remember, it's easy to add more clay, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to take it away. So we're just going to add a little bit here. I'm going to press that down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these little wax carving tools. Now, these have various different ends on them. You've got spikes, you've got points. We've also got these little kind of spoon shapes and these are really, really useful just to get that rounded edge and just smooth it down. So you're just kind of smoothing it into the trench, into the wrinkle. And we smooth it out a little bit more and again, this stage, still going to look a little bit rough. It's all about being patient, building it up. And you'll see that over time, we'll have something that looks really, really good. There you go. So we've got our two techniques there. We've got taking away from the edge, just around here. And then we've got building up our islands of skin in the middle there, and then smoothing them out with one of these spoon tools into the trench. Now, as you can see, I've got a lot of work to do to so carry on with these wrinkles. Let's do it.
wrinkles are all mapped in. I'm pretty confident that we've done all the kind of deep wrinkles that we need to do. So the next stage gets even more exciting because we are going to start to really go in depth with those smaller wrinkles and really start to define some of the features of this guy. I want to make sure that I'm concentrating on the ears, still not happy with the nose. We're going to start to look at this wound around the front here, really start to make that look kind of gnarly. But I think we're getting there. I think it looks pretty cool so far. Still got a hell of a lot of work to do, but I am really enjoying doing it. I really hope you guys are enjoying watching the process and maybe you can have a go yourself. And please join me on the next episode where we'll be delving into those finer details and really fleshing it out. See you in the next one.